This is an I Am Listening original podcast. It is a very unformalised setting in such a broad way, but that brings with it so much more responsibility for the learner, for the student. You really have to know that you want to do what you're doing. You have to really push yourself for it. Welcome to the Hit This GCSE Surgery podcast with East Kent Colleges Group from EKC Canterbury College, hosted by me. Hi, I'm Ben Pierce, and I'm joined by a panel of education experts as well as students, and we're going to be giving you advice on what's next and what you can expect in the next steps of your education journey. In this episode, I'm talking with EKC staff members Jessica and Rachel, student experience officers Shannon and Gina, and students Josh, Luca, Neve and Lily about college life. The Hit List GCSE Surgery with East Kent Colleges Group. Find the course that's right for you at one of their offset outstanding community-based colleges. One of the big decisions that people will be making uh, right now is where to go next for their education. And uh, obviously one of the big choices here in Kent is the EKC group, EKC Canterbury College. So we wanted to talk a little bit about college life. We've kept Jessica with us. Jessica, I'd love to know what, what can be studied at college? Oh, there's, there's so many options. One thing that I love that you can study here at Canterbury, we have Spring Lane Campus. So that's where our animals live. So you can study um, basic skills of being a vet and you study how to look after the animals so we've got wallabies there's snakes there's tarantulas which I run away from but there's also very cute meerkats and sheep so that's something really cool that you can study at college and then there's the other end of the spectrum there's all the construction all the trades um, and there's a garage here and a few quite a few of our campuses if you can study automotive at that uh, college then you basically work in a garage but uh, you're learning as you're there um, there's lots of different cars yeah and you learn how to fix cars so whatever whatever you're learning about whatever you've chosen whether that's brick lane, whether that's hairdressing whether that's beauty whether that's performing arts there's so many options you're in that kind of environment so the brickies are in a workshop where they're laying bricks so that's what's really fun about college. It's a huge campus here, EKC Canterbury College. Um, is there a certain subject that when you saw it, you was like, oh, I, d- I didn't know that you could that you could study that at college. Are there any subjects that people might not realise that they can study here? I think on the engineering course, they have robots that they programme. I know, it's really cool. Robots that they programme um, and they learn kind of the code inside behind the robots so they can do certain, certain tasks that humans wouldn't be able to do and much more efficiently. Um, And seeing them move, I've seen one of them dance before, which is pretty cool. Um, So, yeah, I think engineering and coding the robots is fantastic. Rachel, if that sounds great to me and I'm thinking, okay, I want to go to I want to go to college. If I need some additional support with my learning or or financial, uh, where do I go to get the support that I need? Okay, when you come to enrol, you can make that known and we'll put you in touch with our bursary team. So we have a student funding team who um, can take your details and you do an application and you can receive support with travel to college, with meals at college, with um, resources and equipment that you need for your course and any trips that you go on. So that's in the Student Information Centre. Also, with any extra support, I mean, hopefully there might have been some liaison with your school, but you can, again, you can speak to your tutors. I'd speak to your tutors in the first instance, and then we can put you in touch with our inclusive learning team. And we have, we have resources online that can help um, access um, learning, but we, we have all sorts of other support, drop-in support, extra time in exams and so on. So you can have that discussion with your tutor and the inclusive learning team. And of course, you've got the student union. Shannon, what is a student union? So the students union basically is once you come to the college or whatever educational place that you go to, you are automatically part of the students union. So there's no signing up. You don't need to do anything. You are part of the union. And basically what it is, is to amplify your student voice. So, you know, you kind of are part of it and you feed back all of the kind of like feedback that you have I guess about the college and about the events and any kind of thing that you have in mind to course reps or to us uh, Gina and I we're student experience officers so we facilitate um, course rep meetings and things like that and we can feedback the feedback from you guys and that's how it works it's basically a massive group um, of you and it's a students union so it's anything that you kind of want it to be if you have any feedback if you want anything to be more inclusive or diverse we are always here to listen and help out yeah 
And of course, Gina, you put on quite a few different events and activities. So um, what type of events and activities can students take part in? Oh, there's um, loads of really great events here. Um, we work out of the Canterbury um, campus um, here. We've run events such as Thorpe Park. We've done the, recently done the Comic Con visit, but we also have trips abroad. Last year, there was the um, overnight trip to the Christmas market at Brussels and this year we've got the Paris trip planned so there's there's loads of things that go on as trips but we also do lots and lots on campus as well to try and include as many people as we possibly can um, whether that's something going on, on on the street we try we just try and get everyone involved and being part of, of the student union and, and experience just to lighten the load make it nice and break up the the, the workload really amazing and um Josh, how can students get involved in the Students' Union? How did you get involved with the Students' Union? I got involved with the Student' Union by meeting our Student' Union officer because he recently moved to Broadsters College as there was a change around. So I became friends with him and then realised there's options that you can actually take part in the college as an officer or a rep or an ambassador. And then, because it was near the end of the year, I found out you can become student president and vice president. So I voted for an election in that. Amazing. And what are the roles, guys, in the student union? What are the actual roles available? Uh, Equalities officer, welfare officer, sustainability officer, uh, events officer, uh, sports officer, and then, am I missing any? Social media officer. Who said thank you? You had a whisper from the audience (laughs) there as a little help in that. Thank you. But yeah, those are the six roles. Um, But we also have, um, as Josh mentioned, course reps. So like I mentioned earlier, uh, you can kind of have meetings with us and we can feedback any feedback uh, from the student union. Uh, We also have student ambassadors, which is a really great role and goes so well on your CV. It basically is a paid role, £12 per hour. um, And you work really closely with Gina and I, so student experience, and it will be supporting events such as open days or any kind of other events we need more support on. So yeah, it's a great opportunity. Amazing. Thank you, guys. I'd love to get a staff versus student perspective on this. So, Rachel, let me start with you. How is college different to school? I'd say the main thing is that it's it's more independent and more independent learning. Um, so you take more responsibility for your learning. You're not, you don't have to be in five days a week. You have much more freedom to come and go. So with that comes the responsibility of, of, of manage, managing that. But it's, you know, it's completely different. I was going to say no uniforms, but some departments do have uniforms. You call your teachers by their first names. You just come into your class and then you're free to go into town or, or whatever you want to do or, or hang around the, the social area of college just a yeah it is very much a different learning environment and Luca same question to you I, I absolutely agree it is a very unformalized setting in such a broad way but that brings with it so much more responsibility for the learner for the student you really have to know that you want to do what you're doing you have to really push yourself for it but in the same way by having that freedom you can push yourself so hard that you can work really well but also you have the ability to make sure that you're working within your limits um, it, it really does give you that sense of it's your destiny as opposed to in school where sometimes you do feel a little bit like you're doing it for them you're doing it for what they want to see from you whereas at college it's very much you're doing it for you and what you want to see in yourself The Hit List GCSE Surgery with East Kent Colleges Group, the leading provider of technical and vocational education to more than 14,000 students in Kent. So we're finding out about college life from the students themselves. And uh, Neve, I'm going to come to, to you first as the, as the inbound uh, president to be here of the Student Union. How can students get involved? Uh, what roles are available for students within the Student Union? OK, so there's a selection of roles that are available to the students, either course reps or officer roles. So they will all be appointed in September, but the students will be able to voice their opinion on what happens within the college through those people so that even if they're not as confident to come and voice it themselves, somebody else could be the advocate for them. 
Amazing. Thank you, Neve. And staying with the student union uh, trips, events, activities, Luca, let me come to you. Have you taken part in any of those? Absolutely. I mean, uh, as, as the steward of the, the student union, for want of a better word, uh, I, I obviously have. Most recently, we had our Brighton trip, which was our sort of big end of year extravaganza. Uh, so we took all of our uh, about 90 students down to, to Brighton on a coach and let them have the run of the town and have great fun. We run two Thought Park trips a year and we really try and collaborate across our colleges to make sure that actually we can have that seat capacity uh, for, for all our students. As a student union, we like to, to work together and really make sure that we are sort of one cohesive unit. And of course, there's fun with the student union, but we'll stick with you on this one, Luca. What about the classrooms? Uh, how many students are usually in a class? What will the classroom be like? So it massively depends on your course. You can be in a class such as mine, which is about 14 students, or you can be in a class up to 30 or even higher if you're in one of the built environment courses and, and the like, although you will have uh, more tutors for those sort of classes. The rooms are very much designed around what course you're taking. So I've been studying graphic design for the past two years. So I've been in design studios and in Mac rooms and in sort of really focused rooms for what I do. At the same time, if you're studying a course such as business, you may be in what you could describe as a standard classroom sort of thing that you may, may be very similar to what you've had at school. So it's very, very course dependent. And I expect for Lily sat next to you, clearly doing hairdressing, uh, obviously quite a practical course, mm -hmm. I expect. Tell us a little bit about the course that you're doing. So it's a really nice environment. We have two main tutors who are Claire and Jess and they're some of the loveliest people on earth. If you're struggling, you can just be like, Claire, I need your help. And she's on her way as quick as she can be. And she'll come and she'll demonstrate with you. She'll get her own scissors out, help you out. Um, but there's a lot of support within our classroom as well. So our programme director and salon manager, Faye, um, she's a big support for us. If you need help, she'll set a meeting up and talk to the relevant people to kind of help you out if you're struggling and Faye's been like a massive help for me because I got diagnosed with autism when I was 15 I want to say and coming into college I got told in secondary school there's no point getting you an EHCP they're not going to want you so I got told in secondary school that they're not going to want me at college because of my disability and I was like mm, no and but I've come to college and they helped me so much and if I'm struggling, they're there straight away to help. I take it they're also helping you look forward as well. As I mentioned, quite practical doing hairdressing. So I expect they're currently helping you with your studies to then hopefully become a hairdresser. You're able to look forward. They set a very professional environment. So it's no jewellery for health and safety, our uniform, your apron, your station be clean. We're in charge of our own station. So they get us ready if we then go off and work into a professional environment they set us on the pathway for that has it made you even more excited to become a hairdresser and what's what's next i really look forward to it i want to open my own business for hairdressing but to do clients with disabilities oh amazing well um lily thank you luca thank you neve good luck with becoming the uh, the president as well and uh we'll chat tea levels next Thanks for listening to the Hit This GCSE Surgery podcast with East Kent Colleges Group from EKC Canterbury College. For more information, you can head to ekcgroup.ac.uk and you can find the rest of the episodes of this podcast series at im-listening.co.uk or wherever you get your podcasts. This has been an I Am Listening original podcast. For more information, head over to our website, im-listening.co.uk.